Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. This scammer is having some mucus problems. Normally, I might edit something like this out, but I decided to leave in some of his rude attempts to control that mucus. At the end, I really try to get him going to help with his breathing. Special thanks to subscribers who suggested using a Janis Joplin song during a bait. Please see the description for details. If you enjoy this video, please click like. If you enjoy my channel, please subscribe to help me keep it going. Enjoy. Hello. I'm here. Can you hear me? Well, I got a message from a lady named Deborah Holland. That's right. With the Publishers Clearing House. That's right. And did you write down what you have won? Um, I don't think it said what I won. It just says I was a second place lucky winner and I have a confirmation number. That's right. Did you provide me with your confirmation number? Yes, sir. Uh, 44711. Okay, okay. And, uh, could you please state your first and your last name for the company record? Beth Newman. And when did you receive your notification, sweetheart? Uh, today. This is the first time you're going to be speaking with an agent from my company? Uh, yes. Okay, okay, sweetheart. So we have like this year's check here, volume 7. 17.5 million U.S. dollars. 17.5 million? That's right. And you're also supposed to receive 7,000 every single week for the rest of your life. And also a 2023 S-Class Mercedes-Benz car. Oh my, oh my goodness. Do you still drive? Uh, yes, I do. What kind of car are you driving at this moment? Uh, a Toyota. Oh, you're driving a Toyota. Okay, sweetheart. How long have you been participated with the publisher's clearinghouse? Oh, um, oh my goodness. 30 years, I guess. I had a long time. Oh my God. And I could tell that this is the first time you're going to be wanting something from my company. Am I? Yes, I've never won. Are you sure I'm the winner of 17.5 million? Oh, my God. Sweetheart, you know, seeing is believing and that we are saying right now has been recorded and managed for security purpose. Okay. I can't. Okay. I can't believe it. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. You know, seeing is believing. And I hope once you see this with the whites of your two own eyes, I hope that you doesn't have a, a heart attack or a nervous breakdown, okay? Oh my goodness, I hope not. Okay, okay. Does that so happen? This moment doesn't Pardon? I've never heard of anybody having a heart attack or winning a prize. Oh my goodness. That's, that's right. right. We have lots of prizes. We have lots of winners that get over excited. We even have to call the ambulance. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> I'm doing okay. I, I think I'm, I think I've, I've been a little bit of a shock. Oh, okay, okay. So at this moment, because I'm here talking to you right now, we're here standing up some paperwork here for you. So I'm mm -hmm. going to be asking you a couple of questions, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, the first question, are you married, single, divorced, or a widow? I'm single. Okay, are you old? Well, I'm a widow. I'm a widow. I'm sorry. You know, did okay. You, was that one of the options? Are you over the age of 65? Uh, yes. Okay, and what was your occupation before retire? Uh, before I retired, I worked for um, the postal, the U.S. Postal Service. You were at the U.S. Postal Service? That's right. <laughs> Are you there? Hello? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so I was asking you, did you remember speak with an agent here at the Publishers Clearinghouse? Well, I just, I just talked to a man just now. Are you the same one I was and talking what? to? When today? Just now, just this minute. Yeah. 
Okay, so what I wanted to ask you, sweetheart, at this moment, do you have any types of investment? Um, yes. Okay, okay. The reason why I ask you, I hope once you receive this check in this car, I hope that I hope that you spend your money wisely and you put your money to good use. And what is the time you have with you right now? Um, eight thirty p.m. You said you got eight thirty p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, hold on, hold on on the line, okay? Hold on, don't hang me up, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm getting a call. Hold on, okay? Okay. All right, thank you for holding. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Okay, okay, sweetheart. So what I need you to know that the delivery team, they're the one that was just calling, and they're saying that they're in your city and in your state at a custom department at this moment. So what I want to ask you, do you normally drive at night? Um, the, uh... I can I can drive at night, but I don't have anywhere I need to go. What do you mean? Oh, you say, oh, you say so if you need to go somewhere, you could go. That's what you're saying? Uh, yes, I can drive. Okay, so what I want to ask you, do you have a safe place at your home that you think you could put up this check until tomorrow you take it to the bank? Uh, yes. Are you going to deliver it tonight? That's what I'm. That's that's what we were going to do. Would you like us to deliver it as tonight? Sure, would it be that any would problem? be that would be fine. Okay, all right. So I'm going to be explaining to you what you require to be having inside of your hand there at your home, waiting on my delivery team. Okay. Okay. Okay, so once my delivery team come over at your home, they're going to be asking you for two types of identification. The two types of identification they're going to be asking you for is a valid driver's license or a ID to identify you are the rightful owner of this track in this car. And you're also supposed to be having a state-to-state -state registration card and a receipt been picked up at the store to take to your bank in the morning also. So I oh, I have, down I have. Door. I have something even better than that. I have a passport. So I can show you my driver's license and my passport. That's the best ID there is. That's right. So what I'm trying to say is you are supposed to be picking up a state to state registration card to be taken to your bank. Do you remember how much money you have won here? Oh, seventeen point uh, five million. That's right. So the name of, do you have a pen and paper there so I can provide you with the name of yes, the card sir. you were supposed to be having inside of your hand? A, a card? Yeah, you were supposed to pick up a card, a vanilla Visa gift card. I need a you gift to write card? That's right. Are you familiar with a vanilla Visa gift card? Well, who am I buying a gift card for? Pardon? Who am I buying a gift card for? You're not buying the gift card for anyone. You're going to buy the gift card and keep it there with you. That card, that card is what you're going to give. You're going to give that card to the teller at your bank that you're going to be given your certified cashier check to. Well, I don't need to give the bank teller a gift card. Why, why would I give her a gift? I'm going to explain to her. I'm going to explain. You're receiving $17.5 million due to the fact that this check you're getting is coming straight from Jericho, New York in the car. So do you know that once you're going to be receiving over 100000 in the United States, you know that the government require your taxes? Am I right? Yes, you always have to pay your taxes. Okay. See nothing on your check and your car for you. So the what, what? happened is Say that is, again, the what? I said my company policy has been taking care of ninety nine percent of your taxes and insure your check for you. So there is a one percent of your taxes is remaining on this check. And the car that you, the beneficiary, were supposed to take in care of. So what happened? You were supposed to be purchasing a vanilla Visa gift card. Two of them 
one for five hundred and one for four hundred and ninety nine dollars and six cents. Those two cards, there is a sixteen digit confirmation number listed on those cards. They're gonna be needing the information of the card to be stamped on your check. So your check could fully register under your name in your city and state. Can you hear Well how me? much? How much money do I have to buy gift cards for? Oh, you're supposed to purchase one of them for $499.06 and one of them is for $500. You're supposed to have those two cards in your hand there with you at your home waiting on my delivery team. So the delivery team, they're saying that how long do you think it will take you to be getting your two cards in your hand and get back home? Okay. Uh, let me make sure I understand all this, okay? So, um, just a second, my pen is messing up here. Okay. You said I need one card. Two, two vanilla Visa gift card. One for your card or your check. You're going to purchase one for 500 and another for 409 Four hundred and ninety nine dollars and six cents. Do you understand? You're the one that's going to have the car in their way then on my <laughs> delivery team. So I have to buy gift nine hundred and ninety nine dollars and six cents worth of gift cards. That is only two of those. That is only two cards. Well, uh, well, um, who am I giving these gift cards to? That's a lot of gift cards. Uh, no, Who am I giving it to? Gonna have, no, you're not going to be giving the cards to anyone. You're going to keep the cards there with you and wait on my delivery team. Once you see my delivery team in your driveway, there is a 16-digit confirmation number. Place it on that card. The delivery team, they get the information to stamp it on your check. So, so your check could fully register under your name in your city and state. Do you understand um, well, I know I can't say that I do understand. I, I, I'll give you cash you when you get me, here. Sweetheart, no, sweetheart. Listen, we doesn't take cash. We cannot take any cash from you or any check. If you doesn't understand and you want me to explain over to you, I could explain all over to you again. Remember now, sweetheart, we're not in any rush. And I'm here to help you. I'd rather to love you than hate you or try to harm you, okay? Yes, I appreciate that. The good, the good Lord opened this gate here for you. So uh, you doesn't have to worry yourself at all. You're in good hand. The only thing that we're trying to do is to put a big smile on your face so you could see this, okay? Yes, uh, and I've prayed about this. I'll tell you, I've, I've prayed the... The Mercedes prayer. Have you ever heard that? You said you were a Mercedes prior? <laughs> yes. Have oh, you... my God. Yes, I have. <clears throat> it's, oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? And you're my a friends all have, Mercedes. yes, my friends yeah. all have Porsches. I must make amends. I worked hard all my lifetime. No help from my friends. Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Oh, Lord, That's won't you buy me a color TV? Dialing for dollars is trying to find me. I wait for delivery each day until three. Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a color TV? Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a night on the town? I'm counting on you, Lord. Please don't let me down. Show me you love me and buy the next round. Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a night on the town? Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all drive Porsches. I must make amends. I worked hard all my lifetime. No help from my friend. Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Amen. Have you ever heard that prayer? Oh, my God. That's the first time I hear that prayer. Oh, it's well, I think it's come true. I think it's come true. 
<laughs> oh my god. You're gonna have to teach me that prior. Oh, I will. So I, I, will. Could, I could I could I could I could say I could say to my kid when putting them to bed because I think that's a very good prior. <laughs> it definitely is. It definitely is. Okay. So sweetheart, what I need you to know, this card that you're supposed to be getting, you could get your card picked it up at a CVS drugstore, a Dollar General, a seven eleven or a Rite Aid. Which one of those locations is the most closest to you? Well the C V S would be good, but again I don't understand why I need to buy uh gift cards to to pay taxes. I've never paid taxes with gift cards before. I always just Either pay using my online banking. That is, no, that, that's not paying I always taxes. just pay using my online banking at the Bank of America. I just go in there and I put in the amount and I either write a check for the taxes or I've done it using a wire transfer even. But I've, I've never so, heard of paying with a gift card ever. Either, do you live by yourself? Do you live by yourself? Yes. So you, what you're saying, you prefer to write a check or the amount? That's what you're saying? Yes. I'm not, I, I don't know anything about using gift cards as money. But, sweetheart, I don't but know if anything you, about if you, that. If you listen, 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 my good lady. If you write a mm -hmm. check, you would have to go to a post office or if, uh, you'd have to go to a post office or a FedEx location to have the check send off. Okay. Well, I could do that in the morning. You said you think you could do that in the morning? Yeah, I think they're closed now. And what time do you normally wake up in the morning? Oh, uh, eight or nine, I guess. <clears throat> and you said, do you, do, you, do you live with someone or you live by yourself? I live alone. He doesn't have any, and he doesn't have any dog or any cat? I have a cat. What's your cat name? Juniper. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm trying to say, sweetheart, you said that you have the cash in your hand there with you right now. That's what you're saying. Well, I have some cash, yeah. But I, but uh, if I could write a check, that would be good. I wouldn't want to mail cash. But no, if you're I'm coming to pick it up, then that's then I can do cash or a check. No, remember, we're not supposed to be taking any cash. On delivery or any check, sweetheart. <clears throat> the card, sweetheart, the the gift card that you're gonna purchase, you're not gonna be carded anywhere or gave your card to anyone. You're gonna keep the card in your hand. Right, but if you give if you give out the numbers on that card, then the, then that's the then that's like giving the card out. The only time, the only time you're gonna give someone the numbers is once. The delivery team in here to drive away. That, that's what I'm explaining to you. Once you see them with your car and your, your check, that, that is the time you're going to give them the number. And the same time they take the number, they're going to stamp it on the check. That's what they're going to be doing. Nobody needs the number by phone. Sweetheart. I'm not telling you a lie. I swear in my kid's life right now. I'm not, not telling you a lie right now. I'm just trying to put a big smile on your face. Okay? I just, yeah. Well, I'd rather write a check. If I, I'll write a check. You gave me one chance. Scratch I don't... back here and let I scratch yours. The good Lord opened this gate here of financial freedom and for you prior. Once you have the card picked it out, the delivery team, they're going to be coming over at you. That, that is what I'm trying to let you know. Hold on a call from the delivery man. The card is to act will it take what I take on, hey? Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay so the delivery team, they're saying, what is the problem? How long is it to get the card to come here check in your car? Uh huh? What? Hello? Yes, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Every day, you hear me? Yes. You hear me? Hey. Hello. So I said to you, yeah, every team, get your setup so they could have your delivery done. 
You, you need what? So you don't listen what I'm saying. I said the delivery team, they're saying, how long will it take you to pick up the card so they could have your delivery done? What time are they coming? You're the one that they're waiting on right now. Well, if I go get the cards right now, and I'm, I could be back here by about uh, 9.30, when will they be here? It, once you have the card in your back, it's not going to take them more than 40 minutes to be there at your home, to 45 minutes. So uh, what I want to know, how much money you say you have with you right now in cash? <clears throat> well, do you want me to pay in cash? No, remember you're going to purchase the card. You're going to have to use cash to purchase the card at the store. So uh, what I want to ask you, how much you say you have in cash with you right now? Well, uh, I think I can buy the I think I can buy the gift card with my debit card. Oh, okay, okay. You could use your debit card. And is this your home phone you're talking to on right now, or your cell phone? My cell. And you say which one of these stores the closest? The CVS drugstore, Dollar General, Seven Eleven, or the Rite Aid? Which one is the much closest to you? Uh, CVS. <laughs> Okay, the CVS. All right, so listen what we're going to be doing, sweeter. We're doing an online for you. We're not going to be getting disconnected until when you're looking straight in my eyes in your driveway. So you said you're properly dressed and ready for your big day. Am I right? Oh, I just remembered something. I have two gift cards I got for Christmas. And how much did you got those cards for? Uh, the, the two of them... Uh, they're for $500 each. And but did you use those cards? But they're not vanilla. They're um, they're um, American Express. And uh, did you get those two cards in your hand? Uh, they're in my purse. I haven't used them yet. Oh, and, oh you said it's, it's American Express, you say? Yes, will those work? I don't know, I don't know. Let I, uh, let I contact my manager and see. Hold on. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, what I wanted to know, sweetheart, uh, you said the car. Did you already take the car out of the container? Uh, no, it's still attached to the paper that the card that is came with. Okay. All right. Okay. So my manager say. What happened, they would have to fax the information to the state, and they will let us know if those cards would work or you'd have to get the other, uh, the vanilla. So I'm going to be having you, you'd have to be provided us with the information, okay? What information? Uh, the card. Uh, I just on top my manager, and what you're saying that they would have to fax in the information to the state because those cards, is required by your state that you're required to be getting. So, so your your check-in could fully register under your name in your city and state. That means once you receive this, they're even going to give you a gas card that you could get gas for one air at any gas station. They're going to give you a gas card. So what I'm trying to say is you'd have to provide us with the information of the card so we could fax them into the state. Oh, no, I'm no. if I do that, then somebody might use the gift card. Oh, my God. Peter, listen to me. I have been working here for over 22 years now. I have 22 years of experience. Everything that we're saying right now has been recorded and managed. I wouldn't have called you telling you that you have one million dollars. As I'm here talking to you, the delivery team, they wanted to know what to do. And my manager is on the other line. So I need you to let me know if you wanted to receive this check in this car or you want to give this to the next place winner. Oh, no, I want to receive it. Uh, the Surely. Just, I, I, I just, I'm not going to send you the gift cards because then somebody can use them. No, no, no. You're not sending me the, the gift card. You're just providing the information so we could fax the, the information into the state. Remember, Peter, everything that we're saying has been recorded and managed for security purpose. Remember, this is serious business that we're doing. 
And uh, this is a multi-billionaire company. You could sue my company. Remember, if you gave us the information and nothing goes wrong, it's on my company. Nothing not going to be going wrong here, sweetheart. I have been doing this job for over 22 years now. And like I said, the only thing, I don't want you to feel like you are the only one have to pay that uh, has to do this what you're going through right now. Everyone has to do this. Everyone has to make sure that their check is a hundred percent tax free and everything is started out so once you receive this you cannot have any problem at all with the irs uh, right but i'm not giving you uh the, the information off those gift cards because then somebody could could uh use the cards and then i won't be able to use them and I'm those... saying that someone is going to use the card. You just saying I told you that the information of the card they need it at the custom department to stamp on your check. So without you provide us with the information, how is the information is going to be stamped on your check? That is what I don't understand. Oh, well, that's easy. You, listen. That's easy. Listen. Just get it when you get here. Listen, the information of the card has to be stamped on your check. I'm not telling you a lie right now. The information has to stamp from the custom department. <laughs> your check and your car is on the red stamp or the red light right now. It has to be on the green light. You need your decoration stamp stamped on your check. And the only way you're going to be getting your decoration stamp is once you provide us with the information so we could have the information back into the state. I'm on the line here. We're not going to be getting disconnected until when you see my delivery team in your face. So I don't want you to feel like I am here calling you, trying to pull your legs or trying to give you a nervous breakdown. The good Lord opened this gate here of financial freedom. And what I need you to know, Opportunity like this only comes one time in life, okay? Everyone get a chance to rich, and if not everyone get a chance to rich in life, you get a chance now. So I, I'm, I wanted to know if you're willing to, to give this to the next place winner or you want to receive this today. Oh, I definitely want to receive it today. And I, and I can write you a check. Or I can give you Sweetheart, these. Stop saying, stop saying, write me a check. Well, I you're making you me, you're, you're making take... me get a little bit irritated right now because I'm not getting you irritated. I'm just telling you yes, what you to are. do. But you're the one that getting irritated. I what? told the only thing you have to do right now is information, <laughs> and then you just get to stay on the line. And wait, well, and what you're saying, all. what you're saying, is not making any sense. I, I, I'm not going to give you the gift cards, and then somebody might use them, and then I won't be able to use these gift Who's cards. Who's going to use it? Who is going to use it? You I don't know. Someone, you that might. Mean, that mean you doesn't you doesn't trust my company then? He I don't trust my company, and he doesn't trust what you're doing then. Well, you, you don't trust me then, because I'll give it to you I when you get you. here. Oh you don't trust me at all. You don't trust me at all. You don't trust me at all. No, you don't. Listen. No, you Listen. don't. And it's, a, it's upsetting me a lot, I because, I, because I, I'm a trustworthy person. And it's not fair that listening. you don't trust me, because there's no reason on earth for you to not trust me. I have the gift cards here. I'll give them to you when you get here. Listen. Listen what? to me, and I need you to listen to me clearly. And stop okay. talking while I'm talking. Stop what? I said to you. Stop what? Re listen. But I have Remember. the gift cards here, and you can get them when you get here, and that... That way, I trust gonna you, and up. you That's trust what me. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna You're going to what? What? What I'm going to do is what? I'm going to call the delivery team and tell them that they need to turn back with us. Because they have been calling down my phone, and you're the one that is wasting our time right now. What do you mean, wasting time? 
What do you, you mean? You have $1 million here. And I told you that you need those parts to be stamped on your check. And you're here holding up our time and the delivery team time. And we have our, another price to deliver also. So I need you to let well, me Do you want me to right talk now. to the delivery team for you? And I can talk to them and explain. I'd you be happy to do to that. I'd be happy to do to that if you'd me. like me to. Because, I, to and because to I could explain to them that I have the gift cards here and um, and then, then they could get Can them when me? they get here Lady, and then everybody stop talking would, and listen what well, everybody would be what i said stop talking and listen to me you're just talking and i'm t trying to say something here to you oh what what were you trying to say i said to you if you know that you're not going to give us the information so we could have your check processed, so we could have your delivery done. You let us know right now, so we could give this to the next place winner. Do you have a specific charity or a church that you like this money to go to under your name? Well, uh, when I get the winnings, I'll probably donate some of it to my church. Stop yeah, that when you get it, How and you um, get and list? some of it I'll probably How donate you to it you're not the um, the. Hello, Saint I'm Jude. I'm gonna just hang that Saint up. You're Jude. just talking and you're not listening. What? Every time I'm talking, you keep talking and you're not listening. Let's oh, Saint Jude's. Saint Jude's this Children's Children's Hospital. That's the one I like. That's the one Danny Thomas uh, used to act, talk about all the time, and Marlo Thomas, his daughter. What are you talking about now? Tell me. Oh, just where I would like to donate some money when I get it. Stop saying where. You're not going to get it. That's what I'm saying. If he doesn't provide the information to us so we could come over, we cannot come over. That card required by your state, and you need to provide us with the information so we could have this done. What so do you mean I'm not going to get it? You told me I won, and I said the Mercedes Benz prayer. <laughs> Listen, you're not going to get it without you provide us with the information of the card so we could get the go and understand what I'm saying. This is the only thing that is holding up your delivery right now. You have to provide us with the information so we could get the go ahead from the state to have your delivery done for you. So are you going to provide us with the information so we could fax the information state? What information? That's the card. Without you provide us the information after uh, the gift card, we cannot have your delivery done because your prize is on hold right now. And the only thing could put your prize in the green light is once you have those information off the card, send it to the state. That's what I'm trying to let you know. Well, I, I can't send you the cards because then... You, if you're, when you send it off, the, either the delivery people or whoever you have to send it to or the state to get the special stamp, they could steal those cards and use them if they have the numbers. They be the same as, stop if they have my credit no, card I'm numbers. And I don't want to give it out my credit I'm card numbers, so I don't no want to. I don't want to put those numbers out there because money. they're gift cards that I got for Christmas, and uh, I don't want somebody to steal the money. Let's, I want. I'm trying to decide what I want to buy yeah, with those LL, gift cards. I haven't LL, decided LL, yet, but I've been thinking about buying some new, new, new carpet, or I don't know. It's a lot of money, you know. Listen. Stop talking about a lot of money. You're just talking and you're not listening to what I'm saying. The delivery team, they're at the custom department. And the only the custom way department? Where? The only way you could receive this money today is once you provide us with the information. So if you're not going to provide us with the information off the card, you just let me know if I should just call the delivery team and tell them to turn back with this. That's Where what are they? Do. Where are they now? They're in your city and state. So you let me know if you want me to just call them and tell them to turn back. They're in my city? Well, tell them to come on over.
No, no, no. They're not going to come over without the card information. You have to provide the card information so we could send in the information to the state. Well, I'll without give them. Without we do that, I could even go to prison. I can't just come over without your check is 100% tax free. So without uh, you provide us with the information of the card, we cannot have your delivery done. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you going to provide us with the information or you want to give this to the next place winner? Yes, I'm going to provide you with the information. Of course I am. So get the card in your hand. I have it in my hand. That's Thank what I know. don't did understand. You, you don't seem to be listening to me at all. I have did you the gift cards. Did you I have the card two of, did, gift did cards. You think, listen, American Express. Listen. $500 each, and I have them right here, and I haven't used them. They're, br they're brand new. Listening. I haven't used them. They're still on the card. So I don't know. Listen, I don't know if you're lady, not hearing lady, me lady, or lady, what, lady, but I listen. have the cards, and they're right here. And, and uh, 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 I'm going to put him. Let's see what he does. I'll try. Yeah, why did you call me back? Oh, uh, we got disconnected. I hanged up. I hanged up. Oh, well, what, why did you hang up? Because you're not listening. I told you provide me with information so we could come over. You keep on going round and round in circle. I didn't call you to go around in circle with you. I called you to have your prize delivered. So if you're not going to give us the information off the card right now, so we could have your delivery done. You hung up on me? On purpose? That's what I say. That's what I say. Why would you do such a thing? This so is the publisher's the clearing house. You're not, though, that, that's the reason why I say we're not going to be on the line with you and keep talking and talking and talking. Okay, well, is uh, the prize patrol on their way here? No, no. Provide me with the information. After they're going to be on the way. Provide me with the card number. Well, why would you hang up on me? Could That's so rude. The card number? That's so rude. I, I can't believe. Up. Could I talk to a supervisor, Listen, please? Hanged up. I didn't hang up. The phone got disconnected. I was just going to call you back and then you called. Well, you said you hung up on me. That's so rude. Listen, listen. Could I talk to a supervisor? Listen. What? Listen to me and stop talking about supervisor. Well, I'd like to talk to a supervisor because, because I feel like <sighs> he hung up. He hung up. We got calling back up. Yeah, I'm calling back. Why did you call back? Uh, hello. Yeah. Why did you call back? Uh, can I speak to Deborah Holland, please? Listen, listen to me. What I'm going to do, if you're not going to provide the information, what I'm going to do is to block your number. That's what I'm going to do because you're way past the time. Can I speak to Deborah Holland? She's the one that called listen, me. I feel like I should listen, talk to her. Mrs. Deborah isn't available. He's not available. She's well, not could, available I, right could you now. check to see? Because she's the one who called she me. She's not available. She's and not I available think, right now. I think if she knew how, I think if she knew, I think if she knew how rude you, <laughs> I'm calling back. Oh, he's not going to take my call anymore. <laughs> well, hi y'all. It's Trixie. I'm so glad you're here. Please like and subscribe so I can keep this channel going. See you next time.